and it's not the dirty, grimy industry it used to be. It is a high-tech industry, and you really get to play with cutting-edge technology. Hi, my name's Ben, and this is a day in the life of a machinist. Today we've got 7,000 oil and gas parts to make, and we've got some automotive prototypes that might come in. So let's show you guys what machining's all about. To do well in this career, you really need to be precise, have a good attention to detail, have strong problem solving skills. You will have to deal with some math and you really should have good pride in your craftsmanship. Well, right now we're gonna be grabbing some material to load up our high production machines. We're gonna get the bars all loaded in properly. And the more attention to detail we care now, the better our end product we'll get. These high production lathes tend to run medical device components, oil and gas, anything that needs to be made by the millions and very precise. All of our tools look good, so we're gonna go ahead and get this guy fired up. And now we'll watch it run through the first part. We're gonna check it to verify it measures correct. So now that we know we're dimensionally good, we'll go ahead and check the surface finish. Surface finish looks good on this part, so we'll go ahead and check it again in about 2,000 parts. If you wanna become a machinist, it's as simple as walking into your local machine shop and seeing if they have work for you. It can be anything from sweeping the floors to running the bandsaw. If you really wanna grow your career fast and advance faster, there's trade school options, apprenticeships. The world of machining and manufacturing is ever-changing. The demand is greater today than it has ever been. I was able to move halfway across the country and I didn't go two days without a job. Hey, I wanted to show off some of the parts that I've made here recently. We've got some tiny guys that we made for a safety harness company. Got a little medical device that'll go into a research project. Aerospace doorstop, big old steel brace for a car, and a little bracket for a robotics company. We just got this rush order from a local guy that does automotive components. We're using an AI tool to verify what size of material we need. The best way to advance in your career as a machinist and make more money is gonna be learning all of the new technologies that are really taking over. Get a good grasp on AI, the robotics that are now being involved, and all of the new automation tools that are helping build the future of manufacturing. Before we can cut the part, we're gonna to have to create the program to tell the machine how we wanna cut it. So this is the simulation that's gonna show us how the tools are gonna to cut the features. And I can see that it's gonna take us about five minutes. We should be able to get this part out to them same day. So we have four machines running right now. We're gonna go walk over and check on one of them. So we're gonna verify the dimensions to make sure the machine is still running good parts. Now that we know the parts are good, I'm gonna go ahead and take all of the parts that have been made since the last check, and we're gonna go ahead and pour them in with the parts in inventory. In this line of work, precision is king. Parts have to be made correct and to the dimensions and the specifications that our customers are looking for. If we find a discrepant dimension that's out of spec, we will adjust the machine to get that dimension back into the spec the customer is looking for, and we will quarantine and scrap out the parts that were made incorrectly. We've got our material set up in the machine, and we've got our program loaded and all of our tooling loaded. Got my protective glasses on, we're standing behind the shield. Let's see what happens. Chips are looking good. There we go. Part looks good, all the holes are the right size. So we're gonna go ahead and saw off all of this extra material. We're gonna go and pass it off to one of my coworkers to finish up the backside, and then I'll come back and do the final inspection before we ship it out. So that part that we handed off earlier just got done through its second machining operation. So just gonna do that final inspection before we ship it out, make sure it matches exactly what the customer is looking for, and we'll be good to go. Everything looks good. The work of a machinist can be difficult and frustrating sometimes. It can be physically demanding being on your feet all day. You'll always be under pressure. Customers never want parts tomorrow, always yesterday. And it can be extremely frustrating when something just is not going the right way. But what always keeps me coming back is the satisfaction of getting a part finished on time, delivered with highest quality. 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Indeed channel and check out some more A Day in the Life videos. We'll see you all next time. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna see me do that a lot. Now you want me just to go? Okay. <laughs> you guys are happy with it. Yeah, that's that's all that matters. <laughs>